hi and today i am coming to you with a mini book haul i have one two five books to show y'all that um two i got from well all of them really i got from the library but um three of them i got today from kind of like a fair they were giving away books so um let's get started the first book I got was The Demigod Got Diaries. Um, this is basically just a book with, it says, including short, new short, short stories. So I think they have, like, stories. Yeah, The Diary of Luke, Luke Castellan. Dangers of Howl's House, Greeks and Romans, Person Jackson, and Staff of Hermes. So they got short, little short stories. So, um, but, um, yeah, so that's the first one. And the next one that I got is The Alchemist. This is the first book in, I think, six, five, um, books in a series. This is about Nicholas Flamel. I'm not um, familiar with this, these stories, but when I saw Le Nicholas Flamel, they talked about it in Harry Potter briefly in the first book, first movie basically. So, um, yeah. Um, this is kind of like a, I guess you can say secondhand. Well, somebody didn't really take care of it. So if I read this and I like it, then I might return this one and get a brand new copy from the store and get all of them. The next book we have is called The Ring and the Crown. This is by Melissa De La Cruz. I her, I have, I think I have some of her books, but, um, I saw it and I figured, well, why not? Because the back, it says, two girls, one beautiful and strong, one plain and powerless, only one shall be queen and the other shall serve her. But as I awake from sleep, I still do not know which one of them is my daughter and which one is the traitor. I am going in this completely blind, and I just read the back, so, um, we will see how that goes. I got that one from the fair today. Um, the next one is called Far From You by Tess Sharp, Sharpay. Um, I'll read you the back. Um. It kind of called to me. It says, Sophie Winters nearly died twice. The first time she was 14 and escaped a nearly fatal car accident with scars, a bum leg, and an addiction to oxy that'll take years to kick. The second time she's 17 and it's no accident. Sophie and her best friend Mina are confronted by a masked man in the woods. Sophie survives, but Mina, 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 M-I-N-A. Mina is not so lucky. When the cops deem Mina's murder, a drug dealer gone wrong, casting partial blames on Sophie, no one will believe the truth. Sophie has been clean for months, and it was Mina who led her into the woods that night for a meeting shrouded in mystery. After a forced stint in rehab, Sophie returns home to a chilling new reality. Mina's brother won't speak to her, her parents feel she'll relapse. Old friends have become enemies, and Sophie has to learn how to live without her other half. To make matters worse, no one is looking in the right places, and Sophie must search for Mina's murderer, murderer on her own. But with every step, Sophie comes closer to revealing all about herself, about Mina, and about the secrets they shared. So that sounded interesting, and if you want to know um, 
And it says at the bottom, this is an uncorrected advanced proof. I'm not sure what that means. Um, so, um, it doesn't say if it's like a, when it comes out, I'm sure it already did, but, um, I'll let you know how I like it. And the last book I bought is Blood Promises, a Vampire Academy novel. I don't know if this is the fourth book. Um, yeah, I think this is the fourth book in the series. So I need one, two, three, five, and six. But I saw it and I took my chance. And I got it. So I won't read it until I get all the others. So that is my little haul. And um, I will see you all next time. Bye.